Okay, so today I have a 2004 uh, F450 with a 6 liter, and I want to do a diagnosis here. Um, customers complaining of a rough start when cold. Um, what I've discovered over the past couple years is um, different repair shops will do just a uh, diagnosis, but they'll be using a, uh, a different scan tool besides IDS. To my knowledge, the only scan tool that you can really use to diagnose injectors um, and do the stuff that the dealerships can do is the IDS system. Um, it costs a lot of money, but it's really a must-have if you're going to be a 6.0 or a 6.4 or 7, 6.7 repair shop. If you're going to be working on these trucks, this the IDS system is the best tool, the best scan tool that you can buy for the money. Um, and there's more features into the Ford Motor Service. Uh, you know, once once you get into there, if you're linked into the dealerships, you can get into the Ford uh, service site and look at basically almost like an all data feature. Um, but today I'm going to get past this. I'm going to show you. You can see um, engine cool temperatures 37 degrees. It's about 40 degrees outside. Engine oil temps 39. Uh, Ficken voltage is at 48. We got good battery power. It's holding ICP. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this truck up and I'm going to show you what the IDS can do compared to a snap-on scanner or other things. Um, if you go into the power balance, um, Auto Ingenuity has this feature too, but it doesn't get as in, uh, as extended as this can do. So, with power balance, this is about as far as the IDS can go. When you go into power balance, it just shows a, a graph, and what it's doing is it'll show. Um, I don't want to start the truck up yet, but um, it'll show you a graph here, okay? And this is each cylinder, and then this graph is showing what your power is looking like on all your injectors or all your cylinders. Or your it's it's going to be compensating because the FICM is telling it to defuel on these cylinders so you don't have a rough idle okay on IDS we have this advance button here which allows the FICM to stop compensating so it's gonna stop compensating on fueling and it's just gonna do its normal fueling so that way I can see exactly which injector is failing no other scan tool on the market can do this to my knowledge uh, Auto Ingenuity this is about as far as you can get but even then, if you have a snap-on or something and it shows power balance, it's not very accurate and it's not telling you which injectors are bad. It's just telling you where the compensation's at, so you're kind of playing a guessing game which, which, with uh, which injectors are failing. Um, other things on this, like uh, injector buzz tests, there's a lot of other scanners that can do that. Snap-on and uh, Auto Ingenuity can do buzz tests, but when it comes down to the advanced feature of this power balance this will actually cancel out the inject the injection of uh, the FICOM control module to stop it from compensating on the fuel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start this up I'll go back to the log here okay I'll go back here and we're gonna see we're gonna watch FICOM voltage and watch Vicom sync so it's not going to drop okay it's got good clatter so it's good it's clattering there we're gonna go ahead and start cool. okay Vicom voltage isn't dropping much it's vibrating a little bit so let's go Okay. See, so even with the power balance, it's all over the place. So I'm gonna go to advance and see how it makes it worse. Okay. S 
So if I stop compensation, it'll change. Okay. There's now I'm compensating it. I'm stopping the compensation so I can see seven, three, and one all out of whack. Okay. So now I know injectors one, two's uh, getting pretty bad too. Uh, seven and three is dropping out. Okay. So that's that's the IDS compensation. So now I want to plug in auto ingenuity and show you what the difference is on the power balance. Okay, now with auto ingenuity plugged in, the only code it's showing me is injector one. So I know injector one's bad, and I saw that in the blast graph. But what it didn't show me on here is only injector one. It's show it's on the other graph it's showing one, two's going bad, three, and seven. So now let's go look at this. We'll go to engine temp. Okay, 63 degrees, 61 degrees or whatever. Engine oil temperature. Okay, still 40 degrees, so still cold. Fickham voltage. Still good. So now we're going to go to power balance. Now I'm going to show you the graph that auto ingenuity shows. Let's start the truck up. It's not really giving you a lot of data. Okay. This graph isn't really doing anything for me because it's just showing me where it's compensating at. It's not the same as the Ford. Okay. So for snap on or any other scanner on the market, this is what you're going to see. This doesn't tell me. Oh, number one's failing, number seven's bad, number three's bad. According to my Ford IDS program, it's when I went into the advanced, I can't go any farther than this in the auto ingenuity. I can't go to advanced and stop compensation. But when you have a snap on scanner or auto ingenuity or anything, this is what you're going to get. And this is why I don't like if you're uh, taking your truck to a shop that doesn't use IDS to diagnose your truck. You're really not, they're playing a guessing game. I know that you have bad injectors, and I know, according to your faults, that you have number one is bad. But I know that there's more than one bad in this truck. So a snap on scanner is going to show the same thing. Or any other scanner, scan tool, it's going to show you the same thing that this auto ingenuity is showing you. Um, so if you're taking your truck to a shop that doesn't have IDS and then cannot actually diagnose which injectors are failing and or how bad they are because they're not seeing what it looks like when it's not compensating i wouldn't trust taking my truck there anymore um so uh basically this truck needs three to four injectors um i'm gonna just throw three in it because uh, that's what the customer wants um one seven and three were the worst so I'm going to replace all three injectors and we're going to see how it sounds afterwards. Um, right now, he's pretty much past the point where RevX, Hot Shots, probably wouldn't fix this issue. Um, it would be nice to see you know, what it would do, but we're kind of in a rush here, so I don't really have the time to do like a whole video review on um, Arch Oil or RevX or something like that in this truck. Uh, maybe next time, but I just wanted to give you guys some info on what uh, 
the IDS compared to other systems can do and how to do a true diagnosis on your 6 liter um, if you're trying to fix a problem. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and swap out these injectors and we'll start it back up and see how it goes. Thank you. Okay, now that I got the three injectors replaced, we're going to go ahead and look at the power balance again. I just got it fired up. I'm going to show you something really quick. So now, what it's going to do is it's going to throw off number two, number four, six, and eight. Now, the reason why it's doing this is because I replaced one, three, and seven. Okay, you can tell that those are good now. But since the high pressure oil hasn't been bled off, it's going to compensate. It's, it's, the oil is basically still got to bleed off. So it's going to throw these four injectors off. So now it's telling me I need two, four, six, and eight. So that's a whole passenger side now. But I wouldn't watch this and I wouldn't pay attention to this until you drive this truck for at least 40 miles. Put 40 to 50 miles on this truck, rescan it, and watch the manual injector balance test. If the manual injector balance test is still showing 2, 4, 6, and 8 at a slow drop like that, that means that these injectors are failing. But right now, since I replaced number 1, 7, 3, so five one was number 5 was replaced before I even got to this truck, so I know that one was brand new by looking at it. Number one I just did, seven and three I just did. So I know those those four are good. So number two, six and eight is gonna start coming up. Number four is gonna start coming up because it's still bleeding off the oil. Okay? But I would in order to get an accurate reading on this. If you are just putting injectors in your truck and you run an IDS test like this and it's like, oh my god, I just put four injectors in on one side, but before it showed that those injectors are fine because it was shooting up here. But now that the new injectors are working correctly, now it's saying that my two, four, six, and eight are bad. Don't pay attention to this until you put mileage on the truck or else you're going to get a false reading you're going to just throw away money. So. What we'll do is we'll put mileage on the truck and uh, basically uh, the truck should be running fine after this. So this is something that no other scanner uh, to my knowledge can do right now. So we're going to stop compensation. Okay. The truck's running smooth, and so we're gonna let it bleed out, and, and the truck should be good to go now. If you have any questions, please comment and subscribe. Thank you.